Okay, 10 and 5. See how we get on here. Going to push through the center as usual. Focal point being on concentration on blind spots and then taking advantage of any weaknesses the opponent has got. Sounds simple. <laughs> Let's see how we can get on. I'm going to develop the knight here, just defending the pawn at the moment. Early development of the queen, so that means that something horizontal is potentially happening. So maybe they're looking to push down. If we take, push up and tack, tack, tack. So I think that's a little bit previous, this queen move. So I'm going to hit the knight and the pawn. Doesn't look like it's got any other support with the queen. So if they do take, we can take freely. Can't see any clear attacks on the my king. Yeah, it just seems a little bit too early. So now they're not, they're not moving fast anymore. They've stopped. And they've given the knight for free, but it looks like it. But we can't actually take because the queen has got an x-ray through. So it's easily developed. Just bring the bishop here and support. So that's the whole idea for this particular sessions we're working on. Is just looking at the blind spots. Really focusing on what it is the opponent is attempting to do. See if we can block them off. At the same time, hopefully get a half-decent counter-attacking position. It's probably better taking the pawn, making space maybe for a potential attack here. So we'll, take, we'll do that. I might have in queenside castle to speed the process up. If he doesn't do anything in this space, then the queen is defending at the moment. So we shouldn't get too carried away. But let's castle queenside anyway. Maybe it's going to disappear at some point. It's going free in Cheto, so he's obviously putting lots of pressure onto this pawn already. In the meantime, is there something that we can do? Attack any particular piece? We know that's what they're going to do. Maybe develop the bishop, attacking the weak pawn here. And then we can bring the rook across, supporting the pawn. Sounds nice and basic, so let's do that. All right, so they're not wanting to do that just yet. They're not happy with our bishop. Can bring the bishop back. Maybe he's going to be touching onto the knight. Knight's got a bit of play, can dance a little bit. So let's bring the bishop back. Still maintaining potential attack on the pawn here. So on the tail of the tape, in terms of development of pieces, we have one, two, three, four rooks are linked up. So it's quite nifty for us. So they've gone with that plan. So we're bringing the rook, like we said, just to support. And at the minute, they've got a queen and a bishop so, um, out. So they've castled, got the Fianchetto stuff going on. Where do we want to go? Queen side or king side attack? Knight something, anything that we can see. Knight coming round and around. Nothing major at the minute. This knight's going to get touched on anyway, so we might as well preempt that. But if we did move it there, we're blocking the pawn, blocking the rook from defending. So we have to be mindful of that. So if we are getting touched, probably best bringing the knight back here. Because either way, the pawn is going to be blocked. So could we change tack and just bring the queen here? Triple is supporting the pawn. It's still going to hit the knight. Knight just jumps back here. I think that makes sense to me. Anything else? No. Let's attack, 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 attack. No, if we move off there, he gets the pawn. I don't think there's anything else, really. Or, or do we preempt that the pawn, pawn is going to drop? 
and we'll just bring the night here in readiness anyway. Yeah, there is also that. That's covering off a bit of blind spot stuff, isn't it? I'm going to bring the queen here first. Get ready to move the knight back. All right, so the knight moved quickly, so he's putting more pieces attacking the pawn. The whole focal point is attacking the pawn, but now we can go here. Don't mind doubling the pawns if the bishop takes. Queen can take with a check on the king. Rook can obviously defend. Or we can just move the king out of the way. Rook's probably best defending because we'll be, ta oh, we'll be taking this pawn. Are we setting ourselves up though? More double pawns, etc. Queen coming across. Let's take the pawn. And how do we get out? Let's attack the queen. Bishop's taking this. Don't mind again, like we said, doubling the pawns. Just take the bishop if it takes. Oh, it's left a two on one. So the <coughs> excuse me, the rook can actually attack the knight, or we can take and look for a rook queen exchange. If we go for a rook here, then the only thing I'm squinchy about is his rook can just come and attack us. But if they did that, we would be able to get checkmate. So I'm going to go with the rook. And I'm thinking, he's proposed to take back. Have I done something wrong? Has he got a checkmate on me? His queen can come here and put a check on me, can't it? Hmm. It's not checkmate, though, is it? So they've taken the cancel the tape back yeah it's probably best coming here winning some sort of tempo at least and then coming up here defending the bishop mm, method in the madness because we have to move they go back and protect so that, oh oh that's gonna hurt is it okay so we've got the queen i don't think they saw that continuation i thought that would have been a a little bit better for them supporting supporting we would have had to work a little bit more i think if we remember should we shall go back so do we bring our rook up now looking to attack the rook's in the wrong place but i suppose it's better than nothing let's go here see if we can get that but the rook is going to go there so do we bring the knight here to then squish the king Options and choices. Oh, and they've resigned. Yeah, so here, well, whoosh, Prague is plus 12.8. So I was thinking maybe they just put, come and put a check on. It's saying King B1 there, and then bringing the Queen here. I didn't actually follow what the computer said there. Queen F6. Oh, queen of six, same thing, type things, defending, but it's also attacking the queen. Hmm. And the computer's doing something arty, it's like saying rook e6 type thing. Uh, if they had done that type of thing, I probably would have said, well, let's just take it off the board. And then bring the rook up here. Rook's on this bishop, could have taken the bishop. Hmm, many things to be done. Yeah, so if I'd have taken, so it's still 11 something. Um, what's it saying? Bishop taking, getting rid of that. Then go for the b7. Yeah, so we're up the material still. Bishop's blocking this way now, so the rook's not going up to this area. Knight could, knight could attack the queen, bishop. Yeah, so there's player there. Um, it still would have worked out in our favour. It's plus 12 at the minute. Good game.